is lit. Just take a look at the drip. You boys don't get fired in this. Roll a dope, yeah, I'm high as a bitch. Wait, it's lit. Get that little bitch a little tip. Now she wanna suck on the dick. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of this video, I am doing a Ulta haul. It has been a very long time since I've even uploaded, um, let alone a haul from Ulta. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I got, you're in the right place and just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I got is actually something I have on my lips right now. Um, it is the NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Lip Conditioner. This is what it looks like. Still got the wrapper on here. I didn't want to open it, but I've been using it for the past two days since I got my package. And um, I like it. It doesn't really have a, a great smell, but it's okay. This is it. got like a paddle kind of uh, thing and I like the way it makes my lips feel <clears throat> and this I paid seven ish seven dollars all right the next thing I picked up is the Tarte travel size shape tape concealer and I picked up the shade 34S Medium Sand. Um, it is medium skin with yellow undertones. And this is $10. Put my phone down so I don't drop it. This is the box it comes in. Now I have used Tarte Shape Tape before. Um, however, my shade, or my shade was way off. So I just haven't used it since then uh, this actually looks like the right color it is very hard to pick up on colors online honestly um, so yeah you know what the tart shape tape looks like looks like that we're just gonna swatch it right here on my hand oh yeah that is That is the perfect shade in my opinion. I could probably use this for a foundation if I really wanted to. Um, but being that there isn't that much in this, I'm not going to use it for that. <laughs> okay, next I picked up this Milani Green Goddess um, Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Glow Up. Or Glow Up. Glow Up? Glow Oil. This was $19.99. However, I've seen it at Walmart for $15, I want to say, um, but this here is the box. Um, it's in a very nice frosted glass container. Honestly, it looks like somebody used it. Um, I have not used it yet, but I'm about to. Oh, it's green. smells good. Oh yeah, I could definitely feel the moisture, the hydration it's putting in my skin. So yeah, I got this. Okay, this next thing is something new, at least it is to me. I've seen a couple people um, talking about it on YouTube um, that is the elf matte putty primer now I do have the poreless putty primer and I do use it um, as you can see I do use it um, it's loved um, uh, last time I <clears throat> did a haul I also had a free like sample size of the poreless one this is also in the giveaway pile so yeah but um this is the matte poreless or matte putty i'm not good with words um i'm just gonna rip the box 
Okay, this is what it looks like. Same packaging, except it's white. It smells the same. So, yeah. And this, I forget. This was $8, so it's the same price as the other one, the um, Powerless one, yeah. So I look forward to trying that one. Alright, next I picked up another one of the um, e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealers. And the other shade I have, I forget what it is, I'm not getting up to get it. Um, but it's like a shade too dark, I believe. So I picked up the shade Fair Warm this time and this was fair warm with fair yellow undertone um, and it was six dollars so yeah we're just gonna same kind of packaging I'm gonna try the hydrating one of this um, but the shade I was gonna try to get is out of stock so big doe foot Hmm, this is definitely lighter than the other shade that I have. It's damn near white, at least on me. So, you know what, let me get the other shade. Okay, the shade I have is actually light sand, and I think I need a darker shade, actually. I went down a shade instead of up a shade. So this is the shade that I have which was light sand, and instead of getting a next shade up or so, I went down like a shade or two. How the fuck does that happen? Wait a minute. I think I was high when I placed this order. Yeah, I'm blaming that, so. Yeah, I'll keep this for, like, to lighten up anything or whatever. But, um, yeah, this is too late. Okay, next I picked up this All Star Beauty Blowout by Benefit. It is a $53 value. <clears throat> I got it for $15. This is the box. And it has... Let's see. The 24 hour brow setter. which is the full size. Okay, so I've never had anything from Benefit, so yeah. Okay. Oh, it's it's just a clear gel, I believe. You just take this and set your brows in place. So they don't move. The bra looks snatched. Okay. Next is the what is this? Fun size professional. This is a joke, right? Like <laughs> you see how small this is? It's cool. Um I have a dupe for this though. Uh they say that it's the Maybelline baby skin or whatever. So uh I look forward to comparing them now. My travel size. Or fun size, I mean. <clears throat> and the last is the full size 24 hour wait, that's not it. Okay, full size volumizing mascara. This is the Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. So, okay. So this is what this looks like. I already have mascara on, but just for, did I just, okay. You really can't tell because I have the other two mascaras on. Well, the Essence mascaras. I use the false lash and the super 
it called? Super volume or something? They're like five bucks. So, yeah. But, uh, I look forward to giving this a go. Alright, next I picked up the e.l.f. Jet Set Hydration Kit. And this was $15. This is what it looks like. Um, it says, cleanse with the daily fit face cleanser and warm water. Tone with prep and hydrating balm. Apply it all over the face in a circular motion and blend with the fingertips to absorb. Hydrate in the daytime with the daily hydration moisturizer and in the evening with the nourishing night cream. Massage a small amount over the face and neck. And last it says, pamper the eyes with the illuminating eye cream. Gently dab. <laughs> Gently dab cream over your eyelids and under eye area. Um, yeah, I'm not going to open this because I'm going to do a review on this whole thing. So, I'm just going to wait for that. So, I'm not going to open that. Alright, next I picked up the new, not so new anymore. It was new when I ordered it. Um, but it's just been sitting. The NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. And I picked this up in the shade Medium Olive. Okay, and this was $10. Now the um, color was Medium Olive with a nude beige neutral undertone. And I do believe I got this one because a YouTuber that I watch, Juicy Jazz, um, I do believe she said this was her shade. And we're just about the same shade, um, give or take tiny little bit of difference <clears throat> so I just went with the shade that she went with um, I look forward to giving it a go and I will let you guys know how that holds up however I will swatch it for you guys I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger because it's a squeezy tube Ooh, definitely my summer shade. This is it right here. So I'm gonna have to order. Oh my god. You serious? Well, that was a disaster. Uh, anyway, like I said, this shade is definitely the summer shade because I am at my palest. I do live in Pennsylvania where it is constantly cold during the winter. So, I'll have to go down a shade or two <clears throat> if I want to use it anytime soon. Oh, it's so good in my ear. Anyways, alright, next I picked up the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. Now, they had a lot of shades out of stock and like anyone who knows anyone, it is quite difficult to pick out a shade online. So, definitely positive that I won't be able to use this. Um, I need to go up a shade or two, but um, this is the new shade Shell Ivory. This is, I believe, a pink tone, and if it's pink, I can't use it, because I'm not pink toned at all. Same kind of concept, spatula, liquidy. Still smells like paint, but this here is the shade Shell Ivory. You can see the pink in it. It's very ghostly. See, I couldn't use it right now. It's definitely too light for me. Um. So yeah, I will definitely go up a shade in this and then give it a try right now it's gonna have to sit until they get other shades in stock or my local Walmart or CVS start selling the Dewey one so yeah all right and next by Wet n Wild I picked up the um, new prime focus primer serum this is the hydrating uh, it just is hydrating um, 
This was a $6.98 at my local Walmart. Um, it was out of stock at on Ulta's, so I'm just gonna include it in this. Um, I used it this morning. It's this glass bottle. It smells really good, like almost like a um, like a wine cooler, but uh, I like how it feels. my face. Why does it keep doing that? I hate that. It's definitely hydrating. Dewy. Anyways, I like that. I like the way it smells. I look forward to trying it under makeup. Next, I picked up <clears throat> the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation and Concealer. The concealer was shade C8 medium skin tone with a warm undertone, which was $5. And the foundation was $12, and I got the shade F9.5 medium skin with an olive undertone. And I'm pretty sure I need to go get different ones. But uh, this is <laughs> the shade. I don't even think this could be used in the dark in the summer. Alright, I think mine came broken. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Concealer shade C8 doesn't appear to be broken. It's definitely pink toned. This is what I get for ordering foundation and concealer online. Next, all right. Next, I picked up these two LA Girl um, liners. One is the Shockwave Neon Liar eyeliner and the shade blackout I'm not swatching these because obviously we know what the hell a black pencil looks like but they're both very creamy and the other one is a regular glide gel liner in the shade very black these are mostly for like my waterline that's what I got for and these were The Shockwave was $4.49 and the Glide was $3.99. Okay, next I picked up the Makeup Revolution Purifying Prime Water with Cannabis Sativa, which was $11. And I also picked up the Calming Fixing Spray with Cannabis Sativa, which was $11. They look like this. I honestly got the whole collection that was left in stock. Um, I'm going to be going in depth on a video. Um, <clears throat> on this collection, I got the two sprays. I got the priming water, the fixing whatever, um, the foundation. The mascara and the eyeshadow palette from this collection um, and they are all by Makeup Revolution and they all are with Cannabis Tativa. Okay, see so this is the priming water, just the basic priming water honestly. I'm gonna shake it, a little green. It kind of smells weird. Okay, that's the priming water. Not sure if it's supposed to do anything. And this is the calming fixing spray. Shake it and smell it. it smells the same.
also got the mascara and this is the blowout high volume mascara with cannabis sativa and this is in the shade black I like the like duochrome kind of color thing it's got on the packaging Ooh, it's got a big brush weird like plants all right and then here is the palette to that collection so it's just this metal palette okay <clears throat> I like the packaging this palette was $15 it has a mirror in here I have not swatched this but I've heard good things about it um, honestly, I only got this just because it was cannabis themed, um, but I will swatch the shade right here, plant, and then the shade mist, um, the shade stativa, which is right here, and then the shade goddess, which is right here. There's like no kickback in the palette, so I'm gonna close that. However, Goddess is very, you're gonna have to spray this. Mm. Right off the bat, I don't, I don't really like Goddess now. just making it worse. The colors are a little patchy, if you ask me, but, um, yeah. Let me wipe my hands and I'll swatch another couple colors quick. <clears throat> I'll put Kulo, Apicolo, which is the gold right here, candy lane, which is this shimmer green, and then haze. Those are pretty. Okay. Those are way better than the others. Okay, so I think it just depends on the color, right? And that was <clears throat> the last of that collection. However, the last two things I have are palettes, also by Makeup Revolution, and uh, they were both $15 a piece. Let me use my exacto knife here. Okay, like I said, this is by Makeup Revolution, and this is in collaboration with Roxy, aka Roxaurus. Um, this is the Ride or Die palette. And again, $15. Okay, so this is just like Sophie's palette. She has a, a mirrored kind of um, top. Um, it just says Makeup Revolution. Her, her name and the name of the palette. However, I think mine is, please don't be broken. Okay, no, it's not broken, but there was pigment in there for some reason. Oh, they got R's on them. Okay, so here is her palette. Okay. I'm going to swatch this yellow right here, this one, this one, this one, and this pumpkin. Wait, that's the same as 
hers. Let's go with yes. Or yes. This ooh. Oh my god. Fifteen dollars. And I love I love Sophie's palette Sophie's palette. So I mean my swatches aren't very good. But um I don't know, maybe it's just me. I didn't get enough pigment. There we go. Mmm, look a little patchy there. I don't know about this one. I mean, I don't really care if it's patchy because you can always fix that. But, um, yeah, I got this palette. All right. <clears throat> and the last thing in this haul is the Makeup Revolution Fierce Wild Animal Palette. Looks just like this. Um, so, ooh. Okay, this is what it looks like up close. I like that. It's very chic. Oh, yes. Okay, it's got a mirror in here. This palette looks so fucking nice. I'm being mad as hell if it's not any good. So let me just do this one, this one, this one, this one. Well, that's not good. Very chalky because I just ruined that. It's gold. Pigment is pretty good, actually. It's just, uh, not very, I'm not, oh shit, I just, I just got orange all over my blanket. Fuck. Not very good at swatching. Alright guys, that was it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, I just wanted to say thank you so much for helping me reach 800 subscribers. That means the world to me. Um, so if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and be a part of my family. So until then, until next time, I love you guys.